This question is from AP Physics B from 2010, and it is related to the uh, modern physics. So the question states that the light of wavelength 400 nanometer is incident on the metal surface, as shown in the picture. Electrons are ejected from the metal surface with a maximum kinetic energy of 1.1 10 to the negative 19 joules. And they ask you to calculate the frequency of the incoming light, to calculate the work function of the metal surface, calculate the stopping potential for the emitted electrons, and calculate the momentum of the um, of an electron with the maximum kinetic energy. So for the first part, where we have to calculate the frequency of the incoming light, we can use the velocity formula and the velocity of the wave is equal to the frequency times the wavelength. So the frequency is equal to the velocity and the velocity of the electromagnetic radiation is speed of light over the wavelength that they give you. So the frequency is equal to 310 to the 8 divided by the wavelength that they provide, which is 400 nanometers. So for 10, nano is negative 9, and uh, 2 more zeros, 100, gives me 10 to the negative 7. So the frequency is equal to 7.5, 10 to the 14, and measured in hertz. For the next question, they ask you to calculate the work function of the metal um, because we know the frequency of the, the wavelength of the incoming waves. We can figure out the energy that the photons are carrying before they reach the metal. So the energy of the incoming photons is equal to Planck's constant times the frequency of the incoming waves. And that energy is equal to um, work function plus the kinetic energy that is left after the electrons have been emitted. So the photons are coming with initial energy. Um, we can call it initial energy. And that energy is going to be used to rip off the electrons from the surface. That is called the work energy is going to be used. And then wherever is left is going to be carried with the electrons as the kinetic energy of the electrons. So in this question, we are looking for the work function, the energy needed to pull out electron from the surface. So this energy, um, the work function is equal to the initial energy of the photons minus the kinetic energy of the electrons. And they give you the kinetic energy of the electrons. And um, all I have to calculate the initial energy of the photons. The initial energy of the photons is equal to Planck's constant. And because um, the energy that is given kinetic energy is in joules, so I'm going to plug in my cons uh, Planck's constant with the joules as well, which is 663, 10 to the negative 34, times the frequency, which is 7.5, 10 to the 14. So the energy that the photon carry before they hit the metal equals to 4.97 10 to the negative 19 joules. Now, if I take this energy of the photons and subtract the kinetic energy that is given. So I have the energy of the photons minus the kinetic energy of the given. Um, I get the work function is equal to 3.97, 10 to the negative 19 joules, 3.87, because it's 1.1. So that gives me 3.87, 10 to the negative 19 joules. For the next question, they ask you to cal calculate the stopping potential for the emitted electrons. So um, the stopping potential is, that means if I have the potential difference between when the electrons are emitted from the surface and trying to fly across 
so they could create the electricity in the circuit maybe that's the resistor or the bulb or whatever that is and this would be the battery or, or potential different source like um the photoelectric element so what um, happens now is i need to apply some voltage between these two plates of the um, i'm gonna call the battery between the battery or the source to stop the electrons from reaching the other side and i know that the voltage is equal to the work done on the charge and the work from here would be equal to the voltage times the charge and these are the electrons so the charge of the electrons and that work is the work needed to um, take away the energy of the electrons or it equals to the from maximum potential uh, maximum kinetic energy it will go to the zero energy because electrons would be stopped um, so we have the voltage is the one that we're looking for is equal to change of the kinetic energy so we have this much kinetic energy is given in the problem um, we the final is zero so the change is 1.1 10 to the negative 19 and all of that is divided by the charge of the electron 1.6 10 to the negative 19 so the voltage that is needed is 0.69 volt so i have 1.110 to the negative 19 divided by 1.610 to the negative 19 and i get 0.69 volt is the stopping um voltage or stopping potential difference and for the last question they ask you to calculate the momentum of the electron with the maximum kinetic energy so the kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared and then from here i can find the velocity of the electrons so i have 1.1 10 to the negative 19 is equal to one half the mass of the electron is 9 11 10 to the negative 31st and then i have the velocity squared so the velocity is going to be equal to if i solve this um, for the formula wise it would be two times the kinetic energy and divide by the mass of the electron and here if i calculate i have the velocity is equal to so i have two times 1.1 10 to the negative 19 divided by the mass of the electron which is 9 um, 11 10 to the negative 31st and the square root of it and that gives me the velocity is 0.49 10 to the 6 meters per second so um, we found these values so far the ones that they ask us in the problem and then the last one that we're looking for so we don't need just velocity we need to find the momentum and momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity of the object um, in our case it is the electrons so we have 9 11 10 to the negative um, 31st the mass of the electron 31st times the velocity that we just found 0.49 10 to the 6 so the momentum is equal to 446 10 to the negative 25 and that's measured in kilogram meter second so kilogram meters per second so that's the momentum of these electrons that's going to be the end of this video on 2010 AB Physics B FRQ question from, um, related to the modern physics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.